Hello everyone and welcome back to Math Merit. Today we are going to get started on concept number nine, which is complete the square. Okay, this is continuing to work with what we have been seeing, which is quad quadratic equations. Okay, so please make sure you have your pencil and paper ready to take notes. Very well. Let's say we have an expression that looks like this. Okay, I have an expression that looks like that. We can complete the square by doing one simple step. We can take our b divided by 2 squared. That is actually going to give us the completed square. Or in some cases, it would be c for a perfect square trinomial. Let's go ahead and see how it would work with an example. In this method, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be solving for C. So for a minute, we're just going to pay attention to this part of the equation. Okay? Now, for this example, our B is a negative 16. So remember that little um, formula I gave you? where we put b, which in this case is negative 16, divided by 2, squared. Okay? That is going to give us the value of c. So, 2 goes into 16 8 times. Okay? We are left with negative 8, because we have a positive and a negative, so our answer is negative. And we're going to square it, which means 8 times 8. We're multiplying two negatives, so our, so our answer would be positive, and it would be a 64, because 8 times 8 equals 64. Meaning that the value of C is 64. And that is how we completed the square. Let's go ahead and do one more example. For this example, we have x squared plus 20x plus C. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and just ignore that part of it and focus here. Our b in this equation is 20, a positive 20. So we're going to plug it in to what I had mentioned before. 20 divided by 2 squared. 20 goes into, I'm sorry, 2 goes into 20 10 times. And 10 squared is 10 times 10, which is the same as 100, meaning that C is equal to 100, okay? Simple enough. Now, let's go into your assignment for today. Very well. For your assignment today, I want you to take this example, which is x squared plus 18x plus C. Plug it in and follow the same steps I just took to solve for C and complete the square. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate and ask. I'm here to help. I hope you all have a very wonderful rest of your day and I hope to be hearing back from everyone very, very soon. Goodbye.